For all the latest updates, subscribe to News9. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration has revealed a new RV rover which will house the first woman and the next man on the moon. The Space Agency has joined with Japan's Aerospace Exploration Agency, which has designed self-driving six-wheeled Toyota Rover. The Rover has made Japan a key player in the Artemis program. The RV Rover can hold two people for up to 14 days, which will allow them to live and work inside while traveling around the moon. Scientists have said that the rover is an incredible machine. The pressurized rover is really an incredible element, the human element. I have been in a lot of spacecraft on the ground. I have been in the International Space Station on the ground. This thing is the coolest element I've ever seen for people because they can live and work inside. It's like a space station-esque kind of a habitat for up to 14 days for two people, but it's on wheels and you can go places. It's like an RV for the moon, very cool. In the past, JAXA had showed several renders for its moon rover designed with Toyota. The renders show that the rover runs on solar power and fuel cell technology. NASA signed an agreement with the Japanese government in July 2020. The agreement known as the Joint Exploration Declaration of Intent will help Japan elevate its role in NASA's Artemis program. NASA's administration has said that the declaration shows a successful cooperation between the US and Japan. Today's signing of this declaration of intent builds on the long history of successful cooperation between the US and Japan in space. We appreciate Japan's strong support for Artemis and look forward to extending the robust partnership that we have enjoyed on the International Space Station to Cislunar Space, the lunar surface and beyond. There was the idea that even though we have done a lot of work, let the Japanese lead development of a pressurized rover. The vehicle manufactured by JAXA may travel along with its own astronauts to the moon by 2030s. Vice President of JAXA has said that the pressurized rover is necessary for intraplanet travel. Lunar gravity is one-sixth of that on Earth. Meanwhile, the moon has a complex terrain with craters, cliffs and hills. Moreover, it is exposed to radiation and temperature conditions that are much harsher than those on Earth, as well as an ultra-high vacuum environment. For wide-ranging human exploration of the Moon, a pressurized rover that can travel more than 10,000 kilometers in such environments is necessary. The pressurized vehicle proposed this week by Toyota is 6 meters long and 3.8 meters high, or about the size of two microbuses. The vehicle is intended to carry two people, but the manufacturer has said that it can carry four in an emergency situation. Astronauts would be able to ride in the vehicle without wearing spacesuits, while having enough room for the astronauts to get in and out while wearing the bulky outfits. The lunar vehicle will run on a fuel cell and will emit water and surplus air. JAXA and Toyota have been working together since May 2018 to study the plan of building the rover.